Here's Halifax. I don't know if you can see it in the background there, but I can see it. It's quite a distance away for the, the fisheye lens of the GoPro, I understand, but uh, that's the Atlantic Ocean. So in approximately one week, we have gone from looking at the Pacific Ocean to looking at the Atlantic Ocean. Continue on this road for 61 kilometers. I was wondering what that squeaking was. Did you guys hear that? That's my radio. So coast to coast in Canada. I've never actually done that like in one shot. I stopped at home along the way and went down to Toronto and stuff, but uh, yeah. good times. Dean here in Martins Point watches my videos and uh, he was waiting for me he knew I was coming there or he assumed I was coming there I, I wasn't specific on where I was delivering but he knew he was expecting some freight and he saw in my videos that I was coming to Nova Scotia he put two and two together he was expecting me <laughs> like I said the nicest people live in the Maritimes you know we're supposed to be friendly Manitoba it's on our license plates I still think we got nothing on the Maritime. I think they're, they're way nicer out here. Very nice people. So that was a, a nice surprise. <laughs> it's not very often where I, uh, I meet someone who knows who I am through YouTube, where I'm delivering. That doesn't happen very often at all. I think that's only happened once or twice before in nine years. So yeah, he's a nice guy. Hope you're having a good day, man. He's got the same tires on his truck that I got on my truck. So now that we're delivered, we're gonna meander our way out of this beautiful neighborhood and uh, get ourselves back on the 103. And that takes us back up uh, north. We gotta go to Port Williams, Nova Scotia. I thought it was, for some reason, I thought it was called Hollow Point. <laughs> We know Port Williams, Nova Scotia, and then we go up to Lennox Passage to deliver uh, tomorrow, which is further up north. And from there, they've got a reload for me out of northern New Brunswick, just like I thought. It's going down to Georgia, and then from Georgia, I'm going home. So it's been a really good couple of weeks here. It's been a good pay period. We've got a lot of miles, and I think I've gotten close to 8,000 miles in the last 15 days, including Georgia and home. No, including down to Georgia. Yeah, really good miles this check. Very happy with it. pilot vehicle if there's an oversized load coming. Oh, it's just this guy. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a wide load. Everybody waves. Everybody. Everybody's waving. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
everybody's just on top of the world, you know? Well, it's such a beautiful day in Nova Scotia. Everybody just wants to be friends. At least it feels that way. If it's not true, they do a very good job of making me feel like they want to be my friend. And that's all that matters, hey, as long as I feel good, right? Right? As long as everybody feels good. Speeding? No, I'm not. Okay, good. That pickup there looks like a cop. What you doing? Who are you? Oh, that's a trucker cop. That's a inspection vehicle. Don't you follow me. You stay there. Stay. Okay, good. He's staying. people are out here you think I'm just saying that but you can't really fully describe it or experience it until you actually experience it because every single person waves and they all smile at you that's so different than because I just came through Ontario right nobody smiles at you in Ontario if anything they give you a one-finger salute and tell you to get out of the way Manitoba, we're supposed to be known as the friendly province, but yeah, we're friendly, but we're not like maritime friendly. This is a beautiful part of the country, and you know, if, if I ever would move out east, I, I think I might move to Nova Scotia. I think, I don't want to play favorites, but I really like Nova Scotia. I mean, New Brunswick's really nice too. I would probably have to live in southern New Brunswick because I don't speak French and it's all mostly French up in northern New Brunswick. Not that I don't like it up there, it's, it's really nice. It would just be very hard for me to communicate and probably a little uncomfortable because I can't communicate. But Nova Scotia is, uh, what a beautiful place. What an amazing place on this planet. I think I have a friend who lives out here. I think my high school friend's brother and his wife moved out here somewhere. I don't blame him. It's just that it's really far away from home for me. You know, Manitoba is home. So, uh, that would be the, the hardest part. I'm a home, I'm a home person, Southeast Manitoba. That's like my little corner of the country. That's where I feel most comfortable. Welcome to Port Williams, Nova Scotia. Somewhere in here, I got to bring them some stuff. feeling that uh, these roads here are not designed for a 75 foot unit. <laughs> I gotta make a right turn up ahead here. Turn right on Stars Point Road. Let's see how easy this will be. Look at this guy still mowing his lawn. There was snow on the ground when I left home in Manitoba. Mowing his lawn. I gotta turn right here. Oh, nice. 
Nice. I hope nobody's coming. Excuse me. Trucker Josh coming through. I know I don't belong here. Local delivery. Local delivery. I wonder how old these towns are. Definitely. 500 meters, turn right on Parkway Drive and then approaching destination on the right side into 120 meters. Are you done, Karen? I was going to say they're definitely uh, built before we had these big trucks rolling through here, that's for sure. All right, looks like I'll be unloading on the side of the road here again. Well, that's okay. I got four big crates for them. And it looks like these crates would normally be on a flatbed trailer. But they're in a van. And they don't have a dock here. So this should be interesting. I'll have to talk to you once we're done here. Uh, I won't be able to film this. I'll have to uh, help them get them off the truck. We'll make it work. We'll get her done. We're right back where we started. Enfield Irving. Oh, and the scale is still open over there. Slide right and then. Approaching destination on the left side. Into 160 meters. Yeah, Karen. Warning. Truck weight violation. That's not true, Karen. Approaching destination in 200 meters. On the left side. That's why you were trying to take me around. She tried to take me around the long way again. I smarter, outsmarted her this time. I'm smart. Smarter than you, Karen. So Enfield, this you is have where. At your destination on the left side. I see it. Stop. It's right there. Circle King number two thousand seventy nine. Thank you. This is the the gas station, I believe, where that RCMP uh, officer caught up with that shooter. That. Uh, Everyone associates with Nova Scotia now. And you know what? Nova Scotia may have a one or two nutcases like that. I think that was the only one though, because like I was saying, this whole place is filled with amazing people. And nobody told me to tell you that. Nobody's paying me to say that, all right? They're just really nice people here. And I hate that they're sort of associated with that uh, sociopath nutcase that uh, posed as a police officer and went on a shooting rampage earlier this year. It's really sad. But this is where it all ended. This is where the cops got him. Let me see if I can pull in right here. Perfect. I like to be different. Everyone's facing that way, so I'm going to face this way. Does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hit him with my hand. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Need to go outside? Yeah, I thought so. I need to go outside, too. You know, these Irvings are nicer than anything we got back home. I've said it before, they're even nicer than Flying J. And that's a lot coming from me. Diesel what? All right. Oh, there was another dog here. He can tell. Oh, oh, found another spot. Did he leave a little mark there for you? Come on, Diesel, there's some long grass over here. You're gonna love this. Come on. Been trying to get him to go number two all day, but he won't go unless if he can find some long grass. That's how I trained him to. That's how he's supposed to do it. But sometimes when you can't find long grass, it's a problem. There you go, look at all this good stuff over here. Diesel, hey. Oh, he's too busy searching for other, other dogs. Go on, man, get in there. Go on. He saw another dog when we were walking over here, so he's just freaking out. He wants to know everything there is to know about him. I think he's over here, man. He definitely was here. I can smell him. I smell him. I can almost tell what his name is, man. Okay, I brought you to the long grass, Diesel. Forget about the other dog for a bit. Come here. You got some business to do, remember? That's why we stopped again, so you can do your business. Come here. Come on. Time to do your business. No? 
I tell you, this guy. Come on. Come on, there you go. Came all the way here just for you, bud. So I'm gonna grab a coffee from inside here as soon as he's finished, if he ever does finish. And we have two and a half hours or two and three quarter hours to drive up to uh, Lennox Passage or uh, Lewisdale. Louis, is it Louisdale or is it Lewisdale? Nova Scotia. We're gonna stay right at the customer overnight. I called them today already and got a hold of them. I can sleep right in their yard there. And I'll be there for them first thing in the morning. They get there at eight. So we should be unloaded by nine, I'm guessing. And by that time, I'll probably have my reload. And I can head out to uh, Northern New Brunswick to pick that up. He's still not getting anything done. Shout out to Todd, who I just met here. They're over there in one of those trucks over there. I was walking Diesel over there. He came over and said hi. Said he's watched all the videos. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks for coming to say hi, man. I always love coming to the Maritimes here. Man, have I told you this already? Everyone is so nice. I think I've already told you that. I don't know. Just in case I didn't, now you know. Great place. Okay, so Diesel has been walked. I've got some food. I got a coffee. We have 260 kilometers left to go. I was telling you before, right? We can sleep right at the customer. Don't have to worry about finding parking or anything. That'll be great. We'll be the first thing in the morning. And then we gotta wait. Wait for orders from headquarters. Orders from headquarters. Because I know I gotta pick up a load in northern New Brunswick. I just don't know where yet. The scale on the other side of the highway was open again. It was open this morning too. they want to say hello I would very much like to say hello after they're done work how about that I'm sure they're very nice people here it is I'm definitely not overweight See what they say. I read all my numbers, read my plates. Green light, all right. Let's get out of here before he changes his mind. In five kilometers, take exit six, airport, Halifax Robert L. Stanfield International Airport. of epic proportions when I was in Enfield. I got regular truck stop coffee when there was a Tim Hortons right next door and I didn't even go get Tim's. I didn't realize there was a Tim Hortons next door until I was driving away. That's what I get for not being a local. So, stopping at the next Irving here that also has a Tim Hortons and we're gonna get some real coffee. The last coffee did absolutely nothing for me. All I want is a nice cup of coffee. It's hard to get that. I think I've acquired a, a taste for very strong coffee and it's hard to find strong coffee on the road. I don't know. I like my coffee to taste like coffee. Is there anything wrong with that? Let's see if I can find a place to park here. Oh my. I think this is New Glasgow. Oh, there's a car coming there. Figure out where you're going, bud. I'll wait. 
There you go. Very nice. Just gonna do a little loop around here. My truck can figure out what gear it wants. Crazy automatic transmissions. There we go, here's my spot. Has my name on it, you see? It's right there. It's very small, but it's right there. Trucker Josh's spot. No parking. Except for Trucker Josh. It says that too. It's just very small. Alright, so there's a Timmy's in that building right there. The world is all right again. Whew. It's almost the apocalypse. Good thing there's a Timmy's on every single corner. Who knows what would happen if we didn't get our Timmy's. This was another Timmy's where the espresso machine was broken. Now I go to Timmy's at least once a day, usually. And I think for the past week, I've only found one Tim Hortons, so one out of seven, that's actually had their espresso machine working properly. All the rest of them are broken. What's going on? So I ordered dark roast, so it's a little stronger, but just can't get a good cup of coffee. Man, I like my coffee strong. I like it just to, to be a punch in the face. I like to be able to know I'm drinking coffee. No doubt, you know? Alright, let's get going. Got another hour and a half. Another big stop. So we're just before that scale on the way up into northern uh, Nova Scotia. We're 30 kilometers from our customer. Uh, I'm gonna stay here for tonight. That way I can grab a coffee first thing in the morning and I can have a coffee while I'm unloading there. It should work out a little better that way, but thanks for joining me today. It's been a Nova Scotia day. It was a lot of fun, met a lot of great people. I'm excited for tomorrow. We're gonna head over to New Brunswick and then we're gonna head on down to our amazing southern neighbors, all the way down to Georgia. So I'm gonna go all the way down the eastern seaboard there all the way through New York and all that again. We're going to see if we can route ourselves around the city. But uh, it is what it is. If we got to go through the city, we got to go through the city. I heard everyone's left New York, so it's probably uh, a lot less congested than it was last time I was there. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. All right, Diesel? Who you got here? Who's this? Who's, who's, who's this right here? Who's this? It's my friend, man. Leave him alone. You want to leave him alone? Mine. He don't bug on me. He's my friend. He doesn't have a name, okay? So tune in tomorrow, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Tell your friends about the channel and uh, get them to subscribe as well so we can keep growing. We'll make more videos. See you later. <laughs>